Is it more important to find one correct answer or to experiment with possible solutions? In university, you are often confronted with projects and problems that don't have a single answer. By learning to work without clear answers, you will be prepared to think creatively and effectively in many of your courses and develop a skill that is highly valued by many employers. So what is ambiguity anyway? Ambiguity happens when there is more than one possible meaning, answer, or action in a situation. When a single right answer can't be found, you are in an ambiguous situation. What does it mean to develop ambiguity tolerance? Ambiguity tolerance is your ability to function, and even to thrive, when you are faced with uncertain situations. These types of situations can include determining a good answer to a case study with more than one possible outcome, working in a cultural context where you are unsure of the appropriate ways to act, or communicating in a new language, even if you are unsure if your speaking or writing is entirely correct. So, how do you know if you're able to tolerate ambiguity well? Consider whether you agree or disagree with the statements on this list. Number one, there's a right way and a wrong way to do almost everything. Number two, it's more fun to tackle a complicated problem than to solve a simple one. Number three, what we're used to is preferable to what is familiar. Number four, many of our most important decisions are based on insufficient information. Number five, a good job is one where what is to be done and how it is to be done is always clear. Number six, a good teacher is one that makes you wonder about your way of looking at things. And number seven, I have always felt that there is a clear solution between right and wrong. So, if you agree with statements two, four, and six, it's likely that you're already able to tolerate a fair amount of ambiguity. If you agreed with statements one, three, five, and seven, it's likely that you prefer to have more certainty in many situations. So, why might you want to develop higher ambiguity tolerance? What is the value of ambiguity tolerance? By taking the risk to move ahead in situations where there's no clear correct answer, you will gain a valuable set of personal and professional skills. What can you do to increase your ambiguity tolerance? Consider the value of ambiguity tolerance to your personal growth and future career. How will ambiguity tolerance enhance your own personal life and work? Second, recognize and embrace uncertainty when completing case study assignments. These assignments are often designed with multiple possible good solutions. Your task is to apply background knowledge from your courses and the skills you are learning to create a solution that serves your client and meets ethical requirements. Next, take opportunities to participate in new experiences. University offers plenty of new opportunities to explore new situations, like learning a new language, participating in an intercultural learning opportunity, trying an internship or co-op experience, all increase your opportunities and your ability to thrive in ambiguity. Fourth, embrace the learning that comes from making mistakes. Often, that desire to be right can actually block opportunities to try out a possible solution that might not be ultimately correct. University classes can be safe places to learn by trying. And last, reflect on your response to uncertainty. Take the opportunity to journal your response to a difficult case study, an assignment with an unclear solution, or a new experience you've had. Acknowledge the challenges that you've met in dealing with uncertainty and celebrate your progress in taking risks and making decisions in these unclear situations. Any one or more of these steps will increase your skills in managing ambiguity. This will allow you to continue in your personal growth, and maybe you'll even find yourself thriving and enjoying ambiguous situations.